altimeter uses sensors fitted to the feed rollers to measure the deflection of the upper air feed roller, the feed rate and the feeder width and these values are used to calculate the harvested quantity. For quantity meter to operate, the operator first needs to learn the zero throughput, then set the response threshold and finally set the current to crop. Once these preconditions have been met, the Jaguar will need a throughput of more than 50 tonnes an hour for the quantity meter to become operational. To select the correct crop, we need to enter the crop menu, enter the quantity meter section and select crop type. Within the crop type section, we will have a list of available crops on the machine. To learn the quantity meter zero throughput, we will enter the crop menu into our quantity meter section and learn our zero throughput. Once the learning procedure has been selected, we will start the learning procedure with our green arrow. When the learning procedure is completed, you will get an information. To set the quantity meter response threshold, enter the crop menu into the quantity meter section and scroll down to the settings area. Click on your setting. Standard settings for quantity meter response threshold for grass are between 2 and 3 and for maize between 3 and 5. To further increase the accuracy of quantity meter, operators have the option of completing a test weight. The test weight process calibrates quantity meter weight values against values obtained from a calibrated weighing system. To carry out a test weight, first you need to select the crop menu and then select the test weighing menu. To complete the test weight, you must be able to weigh the crop independently. Before starting, select a trailer and determine the empty weight. Activate the test weighing and fill the trailer as normal. When the trailer is full, stop the machine and turn off test weighing. When test weighing has been turned off, the calculated value will be displayed below the machine logo and the trailer menu will become white. The trailer must then be weighed and when the weight has been received by the operator, they will then be able to enter it in in the section here. When the weight is entered, the correct calibration factor is calculated and the system will then count back all the loads previous and adjust the values as required. 